Good morning, dear colleagues. I would like to um, I, I would like to express my gratitude to Dr. Karachun and uh, to the organization committee for invite uh, for the invitation. I would also like to um, I would like to um, thank my colleagues who helped me to prepare this. Uh, conference. Uh, I'm going to speak about lateral dissection, and this is the problem that is uh, ever important. I would like to say that uh, almost um, it's, two, it's approximately two million uh, of uh, incidents and uh, about one million life toll. Our country, unfortunately, is also very uh, has a very unpleasant statistics of colorectal cancer. It, uh, has a, it rates approximately 30% within the whole structure of oncology diseases. And uh, the uh, uh, colorectal cancer also is um, aggravated by a great number of metastases within this lesser pelvis, which fluctuates between 7 and 23%. Most frequently, it happens in the lower ampulla localization of the primary tumor, twice as frequently as uh, if it is um, if, if it localizes in the peritoneum uh, and uh, in the upper parts. So most frequently, the, uh, it metastasizes within the uh, iliac vessels, uh, along the iliac vessels in the majority of cases. And um, as one of the studies showed, with over 11,000 patients, in 11.3%, uh, detec they detected uh, metastasis in the lateral uh, pelvic lymph nodes, and they localized uh, along the inner uh, iliac vessels. Also, uh, it was in the uh, um, common uh, iliac area, the uh, aortal bifurcation and mini sacral area. So uh, the uh, pelvic lymph nodes uh, metastasis most frequently is associated with the mesorectal lymph nodes uh, lesions as well. But this is not the only factor of negative prognosis, as it was shown previously, lower ampulla localization and also the presence of uh, distant metastasis. Uh, according to the uh, study, with the analysis of over uh, 1,000 patients, it was demonstrated that uh, three risk factors and uh, less yeah, results in 4.5% uh, of um, uh, lesions in the uh, lymph nodes. Uh, and uh, such factors, uh, risk factors as uh, female gender, uh, depth of invasion, and a presence of uh, positive mesorectal um, lymph nodes and others. What do we do with this problem? Uh, do we uh, operate on these uh, patients and uh, do we extend surgery or do we subject them to RT? First of all, let's look at the Japanese uh, recommendations or guidelines of uh, 2019, which demonstrate that if the tumor is uh, above the T2 and it is in the lower part of the uh, peritoneum, lymph uh, dissection is uh, necessary. But if it is T3 and above or metastatic lesions in several lymph nodes, there must be preoperative RT. Let's analyze the lateral uh, lymph, uh, lymph, lymph dissection, as uh, Jap one of the Japanese authors show, where they analyzed uh, 500 patients in mesorectomy and uh, extended uh, lymph dissection with, in patients with T3, T4 without preliminary RT. Um, so the extended uh, surgery improved a five-year uh, survival. Um, in T2 patients, in T3 there was no difference. Another RCT uh, to assess the efficacy of uh, um, surgery uh, was also uh, done in uh, Japan. Uh, over 200 patients in each of the groups after total mesorectomy. And um, you can see the improved five-year and overall survival, relapse-free and overall survival, and uh, also the remote metastasis rate. Now the results of the only Japanese study which was uh, devoted to the extended uh, li uh, lateral lymph dissection uh, in the low ampulla uh, localization, you can see that the, uh, uh, 350 in each of the groups and uh, extended surgery did not result in five-year relapse-free and overall survival. So uh, five-year uh, relapse-free survival uh, was uh, pretty much the same. The only thing that they also demonstrated is that the pelvic uh, limb dissection 
results in the improvement of lateral relapses if compared to the total mesorectomy, almost threefold. So these results, in fact, they ask more questions than answer whether we need uh, pelvic lip dissection in lateral metastasis, do we need chemo radiation therapy, do we need more uh, precise pre-operative diagnostics, and uh, whether we need uh, patient selections, uh, whether this particular procedure is dangerous, and uh, does it need any learning curve on the part of the surgeon. So if you, uh, again, look uh, at another study, a Japanese study, uh, patients with total mesorectomy and extended lymph dissection, you can see survival rates depending on the lymph nodes uh, impaired. In T2, it was uh, the best. But also, they demonstrated wonderful results. The authors uh, showed correlation between 2A st uh, stage of uh, mesorectal uh, lymph nodes as, and with the same uh, prognosis for the um, uh, iliac uh, lymph, lateral lymph nodes in N to B. Survival in these patients were similar as in the uh, ex um, external uh, lymph node, iliac lymph node um, uh, lesions. So, they, so uh, removing such metastasis is really uh, important. And it's even uh, more favorable than stage four. Another Japanese study shows that D3 dissection in the uh, lesions of uh, lateral lymph nodes has uh, better th uh, therapeutic outcomes if compared to um, uh, lesions in the apical lymph nodes. And it's uh, improvement of approximately 50% uh, in overall five-year overall survival. One of the meta-analyses, uh, which was published last year, analyzed uh, 4.5 thousand patients in several studies, and they demonstrated that the rate of local relapses is l uh, lower uh, on extended uh, dissection in uh, patients without uh, preliminary RT. So the authors say that it's uh, quite a good method to uh, bring down the local uh, regional relapses. Another meta-analysis that included 21 RCT, one of uh, 21 studies, one of them was um, randomized, uh, showed that the local relapses is high in, ext in extended dissection. And uh, the number of um, such metastases is, um, and the number of uh, metastases uh, was the same. So the authors come to the conclusion that the lateral lead dissection uh, doesn't give us uh, improved improvement in, in outcomes. And most probably these patients should be treated conservatively, not operated on. Maybe it must be chemo radiation therapy. Now let us look at one of the outstanding publications from the Netherlands, which compares results of Dutch trial, a study which assessed efficacy of the preoperative uh, radiation therapy, a five gray after patient, uh, patients with mesorectomy. So these patients also uh, were under uh, lateral extended limb dissection, and it was demonstrated that it was uh, either uh, lateral limb dissection or preoperative chemo radiation therapy if compared to patients uh, after total uh, mesorectomy. This is grounded by the fact that the lateral or radiation therapy uh, can improve the lateral space, the lateral cavities, and uh, can give the same result as lateral limb dissection. And uh, if you look at the uh, current clinical guideline of cl uh, clinical oncologists, you won't see any mentioning of uh, lateral limb dissection, and you won't see it as well in the contemporary NCCN guidelines. So when it comes to the fact uh, if, if uh, uh, do, do we need, um, or is it, is it enough uh, to do uh, chemo radiation therapy in uh, in uh, the um, preoperative period? One of the Japanese studies uh, show uh, a show patients with more than seven lymph nodes in the preoperative uh, stage, and the metastasis in the lymph nodes also were detected in these patients. So the authors, um, when performing lateral lymph dissection, they demonstrated similar 
overall and uh, relapse free five uh, years survival and uh, the same uh, rate of local regional um, relapses uh, if compared to patients without um, uh, lymph dissection. Is this success despite the fact that it's uh, um, every fourth patient developed metastasis in the lymph nodes uh, to have the same uh, rate of uh, overall survival or is it a failure because uh, they didn't improve the long-term results. Uh, this is a Korean, uh, sem, sem Japanese and one Korean study, and the meta-analysis of them, uh, approximately 2,000 patients, also total res um, lateral resection and uh, total mesorectomy. So the lateral lip dissection uh, improves the situation with the local relapses in patients after radiation therapy. So this um, procedure is really reasonable, even in this situation. Another study, another publication, which also uh, sh shows the data of preoperative uh, stage with patients in the uh, with the lateral lymph nodes. There was lateral uh, extended lymph dissection performed, and they demonstrated the same results in terms of the local uh, relapses if compared to total mesorectomy as well as the uh, five-year mortality. They were, it was the same in both groups. Other uh, group of authors also uh, attempted to analyze the uh, uh, probability of the uh, lymph node uh, lesions. After chemoradiation therapy, if the um, lesions are smaller than five centimeters in the lymph nodes, this is a sign of intact lymph nodes. And if they are five millimeters and above, then the probability of um, um, progression will be five to four um, uh, percent. So these particular sizes are, uh, should not be an indication uh, for a lateral uh, extended uh, lateral lymph dissection. So. Uh, this is another publication with an in-depth analysis of clinical data, uh, which in the retrospective part uh, analyzed the results of uh, lymph nodes and the, uh, compared with the uh, long-term outcome. So if the lymph node was over 7 centimeters before the chemo radiation therapy, then in 17% there will be local regional relapse. If it is below 7 millimeters, then uh, if this figure will be reduced to 4 percent. If after chemo radiation therapy is below 4 centimeters, then there are no relapses at all. And even if the lymph nodes are above 7 millimeters, then the uh, probability of lateral relapses will uh, grow up to 53%. And the chemoradiation therapy plus uh, total mesorectomy and uh, lymph, dis lymph dissection uh, will bring it down to 8.7%. The same authors in another publication demonstrated uh, predictors of the uh, long-term outcomes. And they demonstrated that the lymph nodes are above 7 millimeters and uh, over four millimeters post uh, chemoradiation therapy, there will be a relapse. And if the lymph nodes over six millimeters after chemoradiation therapy, this is associated with a long-term metastasis and uh, uh, low tumor-specific survival. So the authors also show that uh, lymph dissection after chemoradiation therapy uh, brings down the local regional um, metastasis um, no relapses, but only if the iliac uh, lymph nodes are repaired. Uh, there is a hypothesis whether we can improve the control over the uh, uh, re uh, distant metastasis. If uh, so, this is a retrospective study which started and which is uh, undergoing in the Netherlands at the moment. Group of authors proposes uh, the uh, treatment strategy depending on, on the post-operative examination. Patients of T3, T4, uh, lower uh, localization with the suspicious uh, lateral nodes um, over 7 millimeters and they recommend preoperative um, RT with MRI after six weeks to restage if uh, non-responding nodes are over four millimeters, lip dissection uh, and uh, TME, and uh, if uh, responsive nodes uh, below four uh, millimeters, then it's uh, TME plus MRI every six months for two years. And if there is progression, then it's effective lateral uh, extended um, mesorectomy. 
as it is, it's, uh, it shows uh, this procedure is uh, quite long and uh, is associated with hemorrhage and uh, very frequently results in um, uh, dysfunction of the urinary tract. We should remember that we need to <coughs> um, we need certain learning curve, and it shows that 57% of surgeons don't know anything about lymph dissection in the pelvic area, and about 87% have never done it. So in NCC guidelines, we see that to perform such surgery, a surgeon must be well trained and has the experience of lymph dissection around the rectum. Uh, subsequently, uh, the probability of uh, impairment of the lymph nodes is increased in uh, the size of lymph nodes above 7 millimeters. Uh, localization in the uh, lower ampulla uh, uh, compartment and uh, um, a li uh, lateral lymph dissection doesn't change uh, m major parameters. Pre preventative lymph dissection is not uh, recommended. It is not demonstrated as uh, its superiority is not demonstrated in RCT. And also, indeed, the procedure is not safe and it uh, requires a learning curve uh, of uh, a surgeon.